Um, I received uh, a lot of uh, missed calls because I had placed my phone somewhere else. So when I saw those calls, I quickly responded and found out that my husband had missed some very important meetings, which uh, was not his usual self. Um, he is very punctual and very committed and consistent. So that raised a panic in me. And I called my friend who was a lawyer and he told me to make a missing person report in the police station, which I did late in the night. Um, there were um, different things that they tried to do, but one uh, thing that they did was to question, question me for five hours on that night that uh, I reported about Raymond being missing. And uh, that was very traumatic because I was already uh, very traumatized uh, with the, you know, the fact that my husband was, you know, adopted, uh, and uh, and the subsequent days too, they continued to uh, question me, uh, and by the strength of the Holy Spirit, I was able to exert my right yeah. to to emphasize that their job is to look for my husband and not to spend time questioning me. Mm, yeah, it's uh, been. Uh, a long and difficult journey. Uh, there were times when, yeah, we are down, you know, because of the uncertainty. We don't know where he is, who has taken him, and how he is, you know, but we are thankful for the support of the church, the local churches and Christians, also all over the world, you know, and for their prayers. I think the most yeah important is prayer and uh, the effective prayer of a righteous man availeth much and um, yeah God God will listen to our prayers and secondly is to put on social media you know the the story of Pastor Raymond uh, because this will keep his me the memory of him alive. Yeah. It's very, very effective.